and spread out our literature all over China. End quote. What a review. Did you hear what this guy said? He says, you've tried to win the, the masses by hospitals, by schools. You know what we did? He says, we printed our message. We gave it out. We've been here less than 10 years. You've been here 100 years. Now, Psalms 101.3 says, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I hate the works of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. I mean, no wonder we Christians sin so much because we let sin become our entertainment. Sin has become our entertainment. That's what the t that's what it's on TV. I mean, what exactly do you allow to come into your own homes? What do you allow to come into the ears of your children? What do you set before your eyes? Psalm that says, I will, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. Now I take that as saying, turn off the TV and seek God in prayer. And church, I don't think it's acceptable that I can turn on my television around noontime to see one man and three women doing all sorts of immoral things there that I wouldn't dare quote in front of a church, let alone, I mean, not even in the world I wouldn't talk about what they do. I don't think it's acceptable that I can turn on my television after having lunch to watch two homosexuals getting married. I've seen lesbians dancing together on TV and kissing and I mean, I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. Now I take that as saying, turn off the TV and seek God in prayer. It says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you? A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake. Because they do not know him who sent me. You see, if we were of the world, if we did the things like the world, if we had watched all the, the, the filth on, on television, if we went out to the clubs, and we went out to the parties, and we went and drank, and we had sex out of marriage, and we did all the, the filth that the world did, the world would have no problem with us. Why? Because if they hated us, that means they would hate themselves. But Jesus says the world hates us because he called us out of the world, because we're different, we're set apart. That's what holy means. Holy means set apart. And so because we've been made uh, uh, separate from the world, we, we've, we're, we're set apart from the world. We're not of the world anymore. The world hates us. Why? Because it hated him. He called us out of darkness into the light. And so if they hate us, it's because they hate the light. If they, if they reject us, because they've already rejected God. And it's nothing to be scared of. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You. And, and I mean, all this is what the Lord taught me in my own devotional time. You can believe it or not, reject it, accept it. This is, I'm just preaching what he's told me. And it, it's... Paul said, this one thing I do, you see, he never was distracted. This one thing I do, no matter what, whether they hear or whether they refuse. If in fact you have some of these things in your life, and you're aware that they're in your life, and you don't try and get them out of your, out of your life, then in truth, you are a backslider. Well, an important decision you have to ask yourself, on the day of judgment, when I stand before Christ, what am I going to wish I would have chosen when you actually stand there? Well, my message is entitled, Uncompromising Holiness. I want to start off by asking you a personal question, it, it, it is, do you have it? If a, a preacher teaches on holiness, there, there's probably some that would call him a legalist, and he would be accused of, of legalism, and so holiness isn't preached on very often.
mean, have you ever wondered why the world crucified the holiest man that ever lived? I mean, who would crucify Mr. Rogers, right? 